Okay, this week was the five-day introduction to uh, Pro Mechanica. Uh, we worked with ver uh, Wildfire version 5. The, the class is designed for designers who are have some experience with Pro Engineer and are designing parts in a company and they have a, usually their bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering that helps if they don't they have some experience they understand materials they understand the design process and so we work with them to take them beyond the design process into the area of analysis so that they can make quantitative uh, decisions about their product whether it's overstressed or it deforms too much mechanica is a finite element analysis tool and it competes in the marketplace with high-end mechanical analysis tools like Nastran, ANSYS, Abacus, Mark. But what Mechanica has going for it is that it's embedded right within Pro Engineer. So a designer who's spending a lot of time in Pro Engineer, understands the Pro Engineer interface, can easily go into Mechanica and apply uh, the analysis to something he's done and get a quick turnaround. And uh, it's it's geared towards a designer, so there's not a, a lot of layers of things to learn. Like in, in some of these other programs like NAS Trainer ANSYS, you have to be a full-time analyst to remember what to do. But because Mechanica is very similar to Pro Engineer, it's icon-driven, click on some things, and the, even after five days of training, the guys can do elementary models back at their desk when they get back. And so uh, I think that's the difference in the Mechanica is aimed at the designer and there's things he can do and learn in a, in a short period of time. Right. So it was a five-day class. Um, the first day I take the students through an overview of the theory of mechanics. It's not heavy, it's not like calculus class or anything, but it, it draws on their knowledge of strength of materials, their knowledge of basic math, and in a simplified way gives them the sense of what's happening in this black box called finite element. So at the end of the day, they know what a stiffness matrix is, they know what loading is, they know what displacement is. They, they, they understand the process that Mechanica goes through, that it, it calculates displacements and then from displacement stress, strains and then from strain stresses. So it's, it's this theory and just having a little bit of that theory as the week goes on, when we get into day two and three, we're looking at what's going on in our models, and we're, look, we're troubleshooting the model. So when I say, oh, it's unconstrained, that's because the, uh, we, we, we don't have the correct displacement constraint. They can relate that back to the theory. So as the week goes on, we're practicing more about the clicks and picks within Mechanica. How do we how do we assign materials? How do we assign loads, constraints? So as the week goes on, it's more learning the interface. At the same time, they're learning the process because we're doing problem after problem. By the time it gets to be Thursday, we've probably done 12, 14 problems all the way through. And so they get to understand that, feel more confident. So when they go back to their own place of work and they're sitting there alone with Mechanica, they can even pull up a simple plate and go through the steps to refresh themselves. So uh, Thursday and Friday we start getting into assemblies, we start looking at their own uh, projects, things that they're working on back at their uh, company and uh, today we had some interesting ones. Uh, we had assemblies of uh, plumbing fixtures and we had uh, uh, gas furnace type things. So we even brought in a little thermal analysis. So I think the, the students, uh, by the time the end of the week comes, they're kind of exhausted, but they got the basics and they know how to troubleshoot. Sometimes uh, I make mistakes on purpose and, and I pretend I'm like a Columbo. How do we do this? I don't know how to do this. And I wait for the class to say, oh, I know, I know. So by the time Thursday and Friday's coming, they're saying, telling me what to do, which is great because they have to, their best resources is their own curiosity and their own ability to troubleshoot. And so by me fumbling around, uh, I can't say I always do it on, on, on purpose, but still it helps them to feel confident about using the camera.